His intention is that all would be saved and none would perish. So when Jonah came preaching that God was getting ready to destroy the town and the nation, it wasn't God's intention or will to destroy anybody. His intention was that all would be, would be saved and that none would perish. So their fasting changed their heart towards God to make them now see that God is the God of all gods. He is the Lord of all lords. Therefore, God can now institute his original intention, which is to bring health, wealth, and longevity to their lives. Mm -hmm. So catch this, that nothing we can do will ever cause God to change his mind. That's mm -hmm. right. Catch that from both sides. Nothing we can do. Yes. With, thank you, Lipsko. That's, that's a learner. That's your job. Uh, uh, nothing we can do can ever cause God to change his mind. Right. There's okay. nothing good we can do to cause him to change his mind. There's nothing bad we can do to cause him to change his mind. The only thing that can happen is we can choose what part of God to, God to receive. Pastor, what does that mean? That means my life can be mimicked in God in such a way that all I can get from him is his good intention. Amen. Amen. But I can also live my life in such a way that all I can do is welcome the negative. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Pastor. So there's not anything that I can do. That's why I, I, I try to give us this all the time. There's nothing you can do to make God not love you anymore. Mm. He's always going to love you. And he always has an intention to bring good to and out of your life. I just got to decide how I want to choose to live in his intention. Let me get out of here. The evidence was found in uh, the 18th, uh, the 8th chapter of Esther, uh, the 16th verse, it said that the Jews had light, gladness, joy, and honor. These were the things that came upon them uh, as evidence of what God was doing in their lives. They received joy, light, gladness, joy, and honor. This is the same thing God has in store for us. Light, gladness, joy, and honor. These are things that, that belong to us as the people of God. Life, gladness, joy, and honor. So these are the types of things that our lives should be reflected <coughs> as evidence of that which God has begun and is doing in our lives. Whenever God starts a work, I told y'all this a couple weeks ago, he will always finish the work. Philippians 1 and 6, I'm closing on this. This is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, being confident in this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you shall perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. Philippians 2.13 says, but it is God who worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. There's always a purpose that God has for everything that we endure and experience in life. Psalm 138 and 8, you know, it says, The Lord perfect those things which concern of you. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hand. God has promises for us, Minister Black, mm -hmm. that he will not forsake the works of his hand. Whatever he's begun in our lives, he's going to affect the results. I'm closing tonight. Whatever he's begun in our lives, he's going to do it. He's going to complete it. So the patience that we're still learning the evidence that we're yet waiting to see. God says, just don't leave the table. I'm trying to get us to get that one tonight. Don't leave the table, Pastor. What's the table? Sometimes the table is that job. Sometimes the table is your marriage. Sometimes the table is the church. Don't leave the table. I'm trying to get you to catch something tonight. Don't leave the table. Well, Pastor, my wife is crazy. I'm ready to quit. Don't leave the table. There's a measure, yeah, he's crazier. There's a measure of patience that God is attempting to allow you to gain in your life. Don't quit on your kids. Pastor, they're a knucklehead. You are too. <laughs> Same way you feel about them, I feel about you. <laughs> we catch that next week. <laughs> so we got to learn. 
that God does not want us Jenkins to leave the table. Sister Anthony, don't leave the table. He says, I will let you see the table, but I'll also let you see your enemy sky. That's right. You just got to remain patient. Got to remain steadfast. And God will bring effective results. Come on, put your hand together for Jesus tonight. That's all right.